everybody welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another video so today's video i am doing a bit of a combination of my two favorite places to shop so this video is going to be a zara and also a mango haul merged into one so i picked up a couple of pieces from both and i honestly cannot wait to share them with you i absolutely love them i really really hope you enjoy the video if you are excited then please do remember to give it a big old thumbs up and without further ado let me show you what i picked up so before we get started i should say that i am five foot six and have a terrible lisp at the moment <laughs> with my invisalign so i'm five foot six and i typically wear a uk size small or a size eight depending on the retailer all of these pieces are going to be a small or an eight and i will be linking them all in the description box below as well so hopefully it's super easy for you guys to find them and pick them up if you do like them so the first thing i want to start with is actually a bit of a set so this set is from zara and let me start with the cardigan because it is just the coziest comfiest cardigan and i absolutely love it i've already worn it around the house i haven't taken the tags off yet because i wanted to be able to tell you the prices so this one's $29.99. I did pick it up in a size small and it is honestly the coziest, comfiest cardigan. And it's also in a really, really beautiful color. So it's in a beautiful oatmeal -y kind of color, which I'm loving neutrals and neutrals going into a fresh new year. I think just feel so right to me. I'm trying to do the buttons up so you can have a little look and see what it looks like. I might not be able to though with one hand. Let me see. Okay there we go now you can get a bit of a better idea of what it looks like so the thing i love about it is it is long line so it's going to cover you on the back if you want to cover cover up the bottom a little bit then this is going to be really really flattering for you i think it's perfect for lounging around the house but i also think it's perfect for wearing out and about as well because it's so warm and cozy now i'm going to be sharing this with you in the set so there is a cardigan and also a matching pair of knitted joggery trousers as well but the thing i love about this cardigan is you can wear it with pretty much any outfit to be honest with you it would work really nicely with the outfit that i'm wearing right now so yeah i absolutely love this i also love the fact that it has two big old front pockets if you're anything like me then whenever you wear a cardigan you're always looking for a pocket to put your phone and it's so annoying when you're wearing a pair of leather leggings and a cardigan and there's nowhere to put your phone so this i absolutely love because you have two big old chunky pockets the back is very very plain and simple not too much going on as you can see it's just long line i am going to be trying all of these things on in cutaways so you will get a bit of a better idea of how they fit but as I say, I went for a small in this one. I probably could have sized down to an extra small, to be honest. But I do like the oversized, really comfy, casual feel to this one. And yeah, I absolutely love it. So I did pick this one up and I just couldn't resist picking up the matching bottoms. So these are the matching bottoms. These ones I also picked up in a size small. Again, I have worn them, but I've actually taken the tags out of these ones, which is a little bit annoying. But... I think they're about £25 as well. And um, I, as I say, I will link them down below so you can have a little look. But these bottoms are so comfy and cosy. They are knitted, but they're a really nice knit. They're a really soft knit rather than a kind of itchy, scratchy knit. They also are a little bit gathered at the ankle as well. So they're not going to be flailing around. They are definitely more of a fitted legging, I would say, rather than an oversized jogger. I love the waistband as well it's quite thick and it does kind of stretch but cinch you in at the same time there aren't any pockets on these trousers they are just plain and simple this is the back again not much detail not much going on but they are so incredibly comfy and i have already worn these a couple of times before filming this video so i can highly highly recommend them <laughs> so the next thing i picked up from zara might look slightly familiar <laughs> i picked up another one of these these are kind of sleeveless sweater vest style high neck tops that's a bit of a mouthful but i absolutely love this one this one is the beige color and i bought it a couple weeks ago and i just love wearing it over this shirt i think it looks really really nice it's so warm and cozy as well and i love the kind of neck height it's quite a sturdy stable neck which i really like and I loved it so much that I wanted to pick it up in this colour as well. So this is almost like a fawny kind of brown colour. 
Um, this one I picked up in a size small. This one's also a size small. And it's only $15.99, which I think is a really, really good price for a beautiful piece like this. I think also, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've styled this one just with a belt as well. You can wear long sleeve black tops underneath, long sleeve white tops. It's just a really good, really nice layering piece for this time of year. It's also super soft too, so the material is actually really, really lovely and so soft and yeah i just love the structure of the neckline i think it's really flattering and as i say i like to pair mine just like i'm wearing it today over a white shirt and i just think it works really nicely so the next thing i picked up is a pair of jeans and these jeans are from mango and these are the let's have a look they are okay so they're just kind of they're like vintage mum jeans, so they are an acid wash. I picked these up in a size 36, so these are the high-waisted mum comfort jeans. Okay, that's a bit more helpful. Um, they're a UK size 8, and they are just in this acid wash colour. Now, I, I'm not the biggest jean wearer in the entire world, but if I do wear a pair of jeans, then they're probably going to be this lighter acid wash colour, just because I think it works better with my skin tone and my hair. And I seem to find outfits are much easier to put together when I have jeans this colour. So as I say, these ones are mum jeans, they're super, super comfortable. And um, I would say these are very true to size. I've tried these on already and they fit really nicely. As I say, they're a size 8 and they fit really nicely around the waist and also on the leg as well, which is a miracle the jeans. <laughs> these ones have gorgeous pockets at the front as well. And then on the back, they do just have two kind of back pockets, which... I think it just they're just helpful, aren't they, sometimes? And then they've got belt loops as well, which is great. I wouldn't say these are the longest jeans in the world. Um, they do probably come down to just below my ankle, which is perfect length for me. But yeah, they're just a really simple, casual pair of jeans. I think everyone is always looking for the perfect pair of jeans, aren't they? So if I can help you find that perfect pair, then I have done my job. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, really like these ones. I think they're such a nice wash and yeah, really, really comfortable and affordable too, which is really important. So the next thing I picked up is from Zara and this is an oversized poplin shirt. So this isn't meant to be, it's not advertised as oversized, but this is a size small or a size, let me see, it's a size small and it's huge. It's absolutely massive. So if you would normally get a medium or a large, go for a small in this shirt because it is so big. I mean, it's very roomy. I do like the fact that it has longer sleeves and it does have a couple of buttons at the end, which I think adds a little bit more detail. It does have quite a big collar to it as well. So it's not a discreet collar. It's quite like a, a bold kind of big collar on this one and otherwise it is quite long so it's quite a long shirt and the back is longer than the front so i guess you can kind of see that here you'll be able to see a bit better when it's on but i was looking for a basic white shirt again to wear under these kind of tops but i think this one for me is just a little bit too big because it's a bit too oversized but saying that i can still style this with a pair of leather leggings for example like i'm wearing now with a little top underneath, I think that would work really nicely. Also wearing it open as a bit more of a jacket rather than a shirt, I think would work really nicely as well. So even though this probably isn't a shirt to wear under sweater vests and under tops like this, it is something to be made maybe a bit more kind of outerwear and a bit more of a layering piece rather than a piece to go under something because <laughs> it's just too big. So the next thing I picked up is something from Mango and I absolutely love it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous jumper. This one I actually picked up in a size medium. So it's Milano wool. Um, I would normally get a size small, but I did go for a medium because I think it might have been the only size left in stock at the time. So I was like, right, it's going to be a medium or nothing. I'm going to have it in a medium. It is this beautiful, almost kind of champagne-y colour, which is really pretty. It's got a bit of an iridescent feel to it. I love the fact that it's a v-neck at the front and also a v-neck at the back too. I think it's really lovely and adds just a little bit of detail. I also like the sleeves, which I don't think you can tell online, but at the end of the sleeve, I would say this much of it is really kind of gathered and it's quite tight. So I'm guessing you're going to have a bit of a baggy sleeve and then tight at your wrists, which I guess just adds a bit of warmth and adds a bit of something different. 
Um, this one is kind of quite baggy and quite oversized. Because I've got it in a medium as well, it's going to make it even more oversized. But I don't mind that when it comes to comfy things like jumpers. Um, I think for layering and for the winter especially, it's quite nice to feel a little bit oversized and a little bit kind of snug in something a little bit bigger. So yeah, I really, really like this one. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much it was, but I will leave it linked down below. And hopefully it is back in stock. Now, I did pick up another jumper from Mango. This one is another black jumper, and it is in a size small. So this one is from Mango's Committed range. It's made with recycled polyester, which is great. So this is size small, or a UK size 8, to be honest. Um, this one is a bit kind of... I would say it's a bit thinner than the other jumper, so it's a bit looser, it's a bit more casual. Um, I just think black jumpers, especially v-necks, I think v-necks are quite underrated. Don't get me wrong, I do like a polo neck and I do like a kind of high neck top, but I also really like a v-neck. I think it's really flattering just to show off this part of your decolletage or decollete however you want to say it. I think it's also a really, really great layering piece and especially chucking over a scarf or something if you're heading out and about, this would be perfect. But I just thought this was a really good wardrobe staple and going into 2021, I want to focus more on building more of a casual wardrobe and building more wardrobe staples and buying things that I can wear interchangeably throughout the seasons and this is definitely one of those pieces. So the final thing I picked up from Zara is this gorgeous pair of jeans. These are the Zara Vintage Skinny Jeans. I picked these up in a size 36, which is a UK size 8. They were 19.99, and I've gone for the black colour. I am still looking for the perfect pair of black skinny jeans. I don't know why. I don't know if it's my figure or I don't know my shape or my leg length. I'm just not sure what it is, but I cannot find the perfect pair of skinny back jeans. So I thought I would give these ones a go because they are slightly more high waisted, which I love. But the only problem I have is I don't think the leg is full length to my leg. I think these are going to be a little bit cropped on me, which I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of. I can live with it, but I prefer them to be full length. And um, however, I love the feel of these jeans. They feel really, really lovely. I love the fact that they are a real true jet black. And they're also a proper skinny jean too. They do have pockets at the back and also belt loops if you do want to chuck a belt on with this one. But otherwise, they are fairly straight leg. They're not a mum jean, they're just a straight skinny to be honest with you. And I just really like the style and the cut of these skinnies. Um, hopefully, they look nice on. <laughs> well, we will see. <laughs> and that is everything that I picked up from Zara and Mango in today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below, leave me a comment, which was your favourite piece and are there any other shops that you would like me to do hauls from? I really want to get your guys' feedback more in 2021 to know what to create for you all. So if you did enjoy today's video, then I'd love it if you gave it a big old thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, feel free to head on over and hit the subscribe button for three new videos every single week from me and thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!